Let's do it. But you obviously weren't very happy after the game Saturday. Watching the film, did anything improve about your um, your perception of that game? I guess? Yeah. No. I mean, um, I was I was disappointed after the game, honestly, because I. Uh, you know, you coach a long time and you kind of know the pitfalls you can walk yourself into. And coach made a message all week and I thought we had a really good week of practice. And I thought we were ready to play, you know, up to our standard, not regardless of our opponents. And uh, and then we just didn't meet those expectations. And it was, uh, it was a step back, not forward. And that was, you know, when you watch that happen and you watch it unfold in front of yourself, yeah, it, it gets a little upsetting, especially things we hadn't done. Like, you know, we went to Florida, no no penalties, and we've been really good in fall camp and pretty much all year taking care of the ball and, and just some other things. So I just felt like that was the part that kind of, yeah, it upset me to the point where I got to do a better job. We all have to do a better job coaching, and we got to do a better job of uh, executing the plan. Coach Stoops talked about the wide receivers uh, blocking and that helping out. Uh, the line as well as uh, the run game, and getting the run game going with uh, C-Rod still being out. Uh, is that Was that an emphasis on, on practice today, just you know helping the wide receivers in terms of blocking, especially those young receivers? Yeah, you know, they, they've done a good job, and they're very physical, and they stick their nose in there and all that. It was more of a, a couple of assignment things that they had made all week and had never been an issue that showed up, and that was the part that was, you know, too negative – Arguably, three of the negative runs were because of something that happened at that position, and, and uh, you just don't want that. I mean, you can't you can't accept it, and then we got to get to the bottom of it. And it were guys I trust, and it just was, you know, is that a lack of focus? Is that something we didn't do enough study? Is that us as coaches not having to prepare? Did I not? We got to get. It's resolving those issues so that you're always improving. And I think that those guys have the right mindset. And I thought today was an excellent practice. We just got to keep backing it up. Which how is, how is Tavion at that kind of stuff? He's obviously played a lot more high level football than these other guys. How has he been at adjusting to those things? Yeah, I mean he's he's a veteran and he knows the game and he's on top of that he's a very highly intelligent player. So um, yeah, I mean for him the game is, is very is slowed down and so uh, he's been a good leader. Um, and I thought he played well in the game. Um, you know, so I, I I have no you know like I wasn't like he's helping those young guys along. But there were some things that. Uh, yeah, again, um, he can, like all of us, we all have to be at our best every day. And if you do that, you max yourselves out, and that'll take us where we want to go. Who knows where that'll end up, but it'll at least give us the best opportunity. And so, yeah, T-Rob's got to do the same stuff. Which is part of the run game struggle, just a natural adjustment to the outside zone run stuff that maybe they weren't doing before? Or just how much, I mean, most of us don't understand. Yeah, and, and, that, and that's, the, that's the crazy thing about it is, like, you know, I mean, uh, I think it's a combination. We, you know, you got revolving. Yeah, you know, I don't want to make excuses. That's the first thing. Is I, I, I made a terrible play call on one, a play that had no chance to work. It was bad by design, and I called it, and I shouldn't have. And I have to own that. And that was a minus four run. Um, you know, the first run of the game probably would have went for 15 yards. It went for minus five because the receiver just didn't block down. You know, like those are little little assignment things that make it feel choppy at times now we can do enough scheme and we got good enough players that we can still fight our way through it um, but yeah you want it to be polished and tight and it will get better um, and then yeah I mean nothing's going to be perfect uh, so then you know then the playmakers got to make it up for you and uh, sometimes you got to run over a guy and sometimes you got to make someone miss and um, take care of the ball if we do those things we'll be fine the run game will be great how has Kabasi, uh, in your opinion, adapted to the to the workload? I mean, do you see anything different out of him now? Yeah, he's been really reliable. I mean, um, like I said, I think he's grown up a lot as a person. It's it's bled into his game, and um, he's become somebody that we can count on. Um, you know, he's been very good in protection. He's been very physical in protection. Um, I think he did it again in the game. The guy ran through the A gap. He just stuck his nose in there, and um, I really value his uh, the way he's playing and. Uh, He's run tough, and uh, you know he's played at this level, so we've counted on him. Um, but with you know four backs not in the rotation, uh, it affects things, and so he's had to step up and he's done a great job. You mentioned just a second ago getting to where we want to get to. Who knows what that'll look like? I guess through three games, what do you feel like that'll look like? Especially, do you need to see that this Saturday before you get into the stretch of conference? Yeah, I mean, I feel like 
there's been parts of the game that have been very tight and very sound and very good. In the end, if you don't have mental, uh, you know, you don't take penalties and negative plays, and you take care of the ball, you're going to win most of the time. And uh, and I really believe that that's in the end that's what I pride myself on being a part of. It's what I've expected of us. It's our standard of play. It's what the coach expects, and it's that's how you win a championship. And ultimately, that's the part that we have to own, all of us. And if we do that, which we will, um, then we can we can you know chase those goals that we all have. Mark talked yesterday about the tight ends and wanting them to improve at the point of attack. What are some of the things you're seeing from that group and want to improve there? Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, again, it's, you got five guys rotating through there. So it's, uh, you want to say those improve at the point of attack, but as a group, others have done it better than others, you know, and maybe, and then and others have done better in the past game or whatnot. So it's a combination of things um, when, you're, when you're rotating a lot of guys through there. But I think overall, they've uh, they just continue to you know stay, stay healthy, continue to improve with what we're doing schematically, understanding week to week. Um, they're going to be heavily, heavily involved moving forward. So I think that uh, that's exciting because they're talented, they're, they're the right makeup, and they're really good guys. So I'm, I'm I'm loving them. I love where they're at, and we of course we all need to get a little better, a lot better in some areas. But those guys are doing a great job. We saw feedback with that running back on that last drive. Is that? A home for him that position is that just because of the injuries right now what do you, what do you feel like with him? yeah i think it's kind of a combination of both um wasn't sure when he came in here what it would turn out to be and honestly i thought he, he was a hedge uh when we took him at some of the, the tight end stuff because we thought maybe there were some guys that had some injuries in the summer that he might fill that void those guys have stayed healthy so the opportunities weren't there but he's versatile enough and he's got the size and uh, he, he's got the athleticism that uh, he'd done some of that stuff in uh, Tennessee and he feels comfortable with it. And um, we had a need and he did a really good job last week. So it was good to see him do that. And uh, we'll see how much more involved we can keep him. You guys have talked about how you like what you've seen out of well, but through three games, what do you feel like you still need to see from him? What does he need to work on? Yeah, I mean, uh, he's had a couple of times where he's kind of gotten a little loose with his footwork. It's led to some, you know, high balls and whatnot. And then um, just protecting his body, you know, like uh, like he's such a competitive guy, and he wants to make he wants to play every play like it's his last, which I love, unless it's your quarterback. And um, you know, and so you want him to to you know not take a shot on his throwing shoulder when he's scrambling. You want him to to not hurdle a guy from the seven yard line to try and score. You know, so those are the things that if he can just protect himself on three or four plays a game that he's exposing himself, the uh, way I explain it to him is do that over a 15-year career and add up the hits. You have to change your life. And so uh, that's what I want from him. If he can do that and protect himself and be a little smarter in that area, you know, the guy's pretty dang good. You think the, sometimes the bad footwork is that an effect of just the arm strength he has? He thinks he can just make any throw, fit any window, or do you think? Overall, it's been pretty good. Uh, but there's just a couple of times where maybe he's, uh, you know, the, the play isn't in rhythm or he's just kind of, you know, the snap was off or he just got a little, you know, gets, sometimes he wants to make the play so quickly and his mind sees it before everyone else that that speeds everything else up in your, in your body. And when you see it fast, you almost want to think the opposite. Slow down, play within the game, let it flow speed up when I need to and uh, and those are little things as he plays he's getting better at but I'm telling you man, the guy's pretty darn special and it's fun to be a part of have you seen an improvement on the offensive line and you know, what, how did they need to continue you know, they were still getting pressure yeah. on Will yeah I thought, I thought you know again I thought they did a nice job against Florida but I thought in this game that um, they did not meet the standard of play that we expect and they know that um, and it was for uh, I don't know what it was for different reasons it didn't show up in practice so um Again, we got to, they have to own it. We have to own it. And um, I thought we had a good day today, and hopefully we can build on that. Bridget. Primarily footwork that uh, causes balls to sell. What's the answer? Primarily footwork that causes balls to sell. I don't know, last year he had two of them touchdown passes to keep him in the end zone. Now he throws that pass. Yeah, like, I, th I think like the um, like the one, the, the, the first interception, um, you know, I'm not going to comment on some of the things because I can't, but. I will say that uh, two cutters are out short a little bit, and um, he was throwing it where I would tell him to throw it every day of the week, and it just, there's DB undercut him because of what happened on the route and whatnot. 
Um, the, the last one, the receiver cut his route short. He knew what was supposed to happen. He was ahead of the play because the receiver was fast. And rather than progress on, he tried to pull it off, which he does most of the time. And yeah, so his feet are out of position and the ball sails on. He can get away with it most of the time because he's one of those, you know, there's probably 15 guys on the planet that can throw it like that. And because of that, sometimes those things happen. And you see it in the NFL all the time. The guys think they can pull it off and they can't. So there's that threshold where you got to manage your body and your mind. And he'll get better at it. Okay, folks, thank you. Good stuff.